Hey guys, here's a walk around and information video about the Edemo and our motor box. Um, I'm just going to go over the build, wheels, forks, bars, just the gear, everything I've done to the to the bike. Um, so I'm going to start out with the wheels and front end because that's the number one question I get asked, which is... Uh, okay, so X18 pocket bike wheels and front end. This took a little bit of work to get it on there. I don't know if you can see, but I used a rear axle bolt from like a like a frame um, bearings from Ace Hardware. The bearings that go in the neck are 10 millimeter bearings, so you'd have to shave the shave the neck a little bit for them to fit in. Uh, fly bars, risers from eBay. The bars, risers, tack are from eBay. The hydraulic setup is from eBay. It's a heavy duty dual piston. A heavy duty disc came with the X18 wheels. I just um, did the white lettering on the wheels. I mean the tire. Uh, kill switch, blah, blah, blah. So this is the motor build. It's a stock bore, stock stroke, non-heavy motor. Wide skull flat top, billet rod. Billet flywheel, stock timing at 32 degrees, 26 pound springs, ported head, stock valves, um, a 308 cam, a 1264 gearing with a 16 and a half inch tire, eBay pipe, and the rest I made at home. It's a Premier Stinger clutch, um, and I'm turning just under nine grand. Like 88 or 87, 8760. And I recommend this tag from eBay. It's only 20 bucks and it gives you a lot of a lot of options. Don't get the don't get the one mode for two and four stroke. Those things are garbage. Oh, oh. And a uh, Mikuni adapter, fuel pump, it's a Walbro fuel pump. This is a must. And a 26 millimeter Koso $30 carb from eBay. So it's an eBay build other than the motor parts. I'm building an exact same like twin as this bike, same exact frame, setup, wheels, um, force. I got the same exact force. I ordered the same exact bars, same exact risers, same exact seat. Got a shift in the parts and that's the motor that's going on. It's a 236cc stroker um, Tillotson. This is the bracket I made to fit a Predator gas tank, uh, not heavy head, it's just vented, flywheel, ported head, um, dual springs, champion rockers, chromolica shot, studded everywhere, um, it should do pretty good, so here's the bike. And a RLV gold on gold chain. Yeah. Um, and I had a guy call me a fraud saying I don't build my bikes. My dad works on my bikes. Whatever you want to say, bro. I've been doing this for three years. I don't know if you're local or not. I could care less. But if you are, ask anybody. Ask my customers, my my followers on Instagram, my, I don't, I don't know who, who you want to ask, but, you know, I could care less, I just hate when people call me a fraud or a scammer, because, bro, that's fucking bullshit, it pissed me off after, like, three years of doing all this work, posting all this proof, I don't really post much videos, I agree, but I post a lot of pictures on my Facebook, which is the same name as my uh, YouTube, and on my Instagram, 90% of my work goes to Instagram and Facebook, so, which is vroom underscore bop, V-R-O-O-M, underscore BOP. I'll leave them in the description. Let me show you those wheels go to this this frame right here. Look how clean this paint job is. This is a rattle can. Just Walmart paint. I'm being serious. We got a bunch of shit out here. I know it's a mess. But this is the paint. It's just a uh, well, first you need the gray uh, sandable primer from Walmart. Then you sand it down, get it smooth. 
Um, Hit it with some of this, then some of this, and you're good to go. So, yeah, I hope this clears everything. Um, I did post a proof video right before this, so you can go and check it out. Um, I did 78 miles an hour on video. The highest I got the bike was 79.7, um, and that wasn't on video. That was just a GPS screenshot. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, and for that Greg Shepherd guy, that's a 420 on there. And I have a proof coming of me riding that bike because you said I've never ridden a 420 and I was scared to crank it up. That thing had a turbo converter and you couldn't launch the bike without your ass up front. Well, my ass was up front, like right on, like right in front of the seat and the front end still came up. So it's got a jack shaft set up now using the turbo converter plate. Um, just running a jack shaft because before it was so much torque, but it took away from the top end. Um, so... I just changed it up to get more top in and take the torque away. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this clears everything up. And have a good one.